वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द क्वेश्चन व्हाट वुड हैपन इफ एन अनसिमेट्रिकल रिएजेंट एड्स टू असिमेट्रिकल एल्कीन और रिएक्ट्स टू असिमेट्रिकल एल्कीन लेट मी रिपीट द क्वेश्चन व्हाट वुड हैपन इफ एन अनसिमेट्रिकल रिएजेंट रिएक्ट्स विथ असिमेट्रिकल एल्कीन एज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अनसिमेट्रिकल रिएजेंट I take HBr and as an example of symmetrical alkene I take the simplest of all symmetrical alkenes which is ethene ethene is the simplest symmetrical alkene simplest symmetrical alkene and HBr is an unsymmetric reagent what would happen if I make them I if they are both made to react with each other to answer this question we first need to know the nature of these two reactants ethene as you can see there is one sigma bond in ethene the second bond in ethene is a pi bond pi bond exists as a pi cloud above and below the plane of the molecule right so it is this reactant is actually electron rich electron rich right take the case of hbr hbr is a polar compound it's a polar compound there is sufficient dipole between h and br and with the result h is positive and br is negative because of the high amount of dipole that exists between h and br they are bound to dissociate and h plus is bound to be released H plus is an electrophil because it has a positive sign over it. It loves electron. What it would do? It would attack the pi bond of the ethene. Okay, it wants an electron pair, so it would attack the electron-rich ethene molecule. So the mechanism of this reaction is mechanism is. इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक एडिशन रिएक्शन इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक एडिशन रिएक्शन वी विल कम टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन एट अ लेटर स्टेज आफ्टर वी डिस्कस द मैकेनिज्म वी विल कम टू नो वट द प्रोडक्ट इज फॉर्म एंड वी विल कम टू द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन दैट आई आस्क अर्लियर इन द वीडियो what would happen if unsymmetrical reagent adds to symmetrical alkene so for answering these two question let us now discuss the mechanism electrophilic addition reaction is the mechanism all electrophilic addition reaction has three steps three steps step number 1 ionization of unsymmetrical reagent ionization of unsymmetrical reagent unsymmetrical reagent what is unsymmetrical reagent that is that we have used right hbr as discussed hbr has sufficient dipole among amidst it h is always positive and br is always negative h is actually electro positive in nature and br is electro negative and therefore be, therefore they are bound to dissociate and h plus is bound to be released h plus is an electrophile the electrophile has taken birth do you think that electrophile would remain idle no never it would attack the electro rich compound so that is we will see in step 2 step 2 attack of electrophil attack of electrophil what is the electrophil h plus is the electrophil and what it would attack electron rich symmetrical alkene electron rich symmetrical alkene h plus is electrophile it has a positive charge over it to become neutral it needs to take a pair of electron so it can attack the pi electron here either it can ask from this carbon or it can take the pair of electron from this carbon 
let us see case number one in case one if it takes from this carbon the other carbon become positive because that carbon lost its pair of electron to H loses lost its electron to H in case number two in case number two this would be formed because this carbon lost its electron to the hydrogen that attacked here so these are the two possibilities both are primary carbocations what are they primary carbocations right dear students now h plus being the electrophil we saw in step number one how h plus was formed it was bound to form and h plus acted as an electrophil because it has a positive charge over it and it wanted a pair of electron and the pair of electron can be taken from the pi electron system either it can ask from this carbon or it can ask from this carbon if it attacks this carbon this is the primary carbocation that would be formed if it asks with this carbon this would be the carbocation that would be formed now there is positive charge you can see on the carbocation who will attack the positive charge who else is there in the system yes nucleophil is there in the system what is a nucleophil that is there in the system which has a negative sign yes this product of step one what is it br minus that would attack them right so that is what we are going to see in step three attack of the nucleophile or you can say addition of the nucleophile addition of the nucleophile both terms are right I am writing here addition of nucleophile addition of nucleophile okay let me write both the carbo both carbocations both are the same thing let me write it this is one and this is two the second one both the possibilities assume that br let it react with br minus in case one what would be formed br would come here ch2 ch3 in case two what would be formed ch3 ch2 br and this is an amazing thing because both are actually one bromo ethane both are one bromo ethane this is one bromo ethane and this two is one bromo ethane step number three results in the product so now coming back to our question two questions we have to answer first we didn't write the product of the reaction that we started ch2 double bond ch2 and hbr what is the product that is formed only one and one product that one product is bromoethane bromoethane one bromoethane is formed and coming back to the first question that we asked what would happen if an symmetrical alkene reacts with unsymmetrical reagent what would happen if they both react with each other if a symmetrical alkene reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent it would lead to only one and only one product correct so only one product will be formed if the symmetric unsymmetrical reagent is hbr then the product that will be formed is one bromo alkene one bromo alkene if it is hcl it will be one chloro uh, alkene so in this way only one and one product is formed if an symmetrical alkene reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent dear students i hope you understood and liked the class if you do so please subscribe the channel we will see the second the other parts the second part of this video that is markovnikov rule and anti markovnikov rule in another video thank you very much